hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, i did post a video on how to install docker desktop on uh, mac os and as i mentioned i'll post another video uh, for uh, showing how you can install docker desktop on windows also so this video is uh, meant for that and i'm gonna show you how you could use the free version of docker desktop and install it on windows desktop so friends, in order to install Docker Desktop on Windows, uh, we can just search for the Docker Desktop as I'm searching. Uh, this would be the probably the first uh, result that you would get. Once you click that, uh, it can uh, gives you the same link, which uh, of course it gave you on the Mac OS in case you were installing it. And in order to install the uh, Docker Desktop, you would need to select the uh, Docker version for like which type of Windows, whether it is ARM or AMD or an Intel chip. So I'm going to install, let's say, uh, Windows for uh, AMD 64, which is typically the Intel one. And I'm going to install that. And uh, when I download it, it is going to download the software for you and you are going to run that Docker desktop over here. So I've already installed Docker desktop on my Windows PC also, but still I'm going to run this because I'm not uh, using much of the, uh, I would say, images or running any specific containers out there. So once the desktop uh, Docker is uh, downloaded, uh, you click on the open file. It would start the initialization uh, for the Docker desktop installation. And uh, guys, uh, there are a couple of things which is very important. Uh, when you install Docker or uh, desktop, uh, it would need either WSL, which is a Windows subsystem for Linux, or it would need Hyper-V. Now, Hypervisor is uh, primarily a Windows version of the virtualization, like a more of a Microsoft technology that would be uh, used. And uh, WSL is more like a Linux based version of containerizations and Dockers. Uh, there is no preference as such from uh, Docker itself. Even if you go on to their website, they would say they don't have a preference for WSL or Hyper-V, but uh, it would automatically uh, download the uh, installation and do the prerequisites for you. Uh, as per my experience, if you totally take my experience with different applications and different projects, what I've done, WSL2 or Linux based containers are more popular. They are more like having better compatibility, faster, better security. So that's where all the uh, thing would go along. Uh, otherwise, you are free to use even the Hyper-V. It doesn't really matter. You could run those containers, but I would definitely recommend to use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V. So once it is done, you just press OK and uh, it would just uh, start the installation process, unpack the files and all that. So it takes a couple of minutes and uh, once uh, it is finished, uh, I'll just fast forward the video and once it is finished, so we'll come on to that particular place. So you can see uh, the Docker desktop installation has finished off. So once I press on uh, close, it would uh, finish the Docker installation. It's all done. Now what we need to do is in order to test it whether the Docker installation is working fine or not, you can just search for the Windows 11 uh, search menu and then click on the Docker desktop app. Uh, it would definitely ask you for a username and a password in order to have your, uh, uh, let's say, uh, repositories and other things also accepted to you. So just press the accept and uh, let's move on to this one. So as I mentioned, it would ask for a username and a password because the work one is going to be typically having a subscription based, more like a paid one. The personal one is free. So and I have a desktop account, so I'll just use my account in that and uh, let's say it, it is on because I've already logged in. So it just simply says open and uh, it just asks you for a couple of things like for your, you could just skip that or give those values in case you want to give it. So if you see uh, the Docker desktop engine is running, it is in green. You can pause, stop or shut down that particular engine. Uh, these are all the containers which you are running. Let's see any images because it's a fresh installation. So there are no particular images right now, but you can pull those images from the repository and then you could also start containers out of that. Right. So guys, uh, this is how 
uh, an installation of the Docker desktop is done on Windows. Fundamentally, uh, it, the installation is not, uh, I would say, very complex in both the cases, even in Mac OS or the Windows. Once the installation is done, the UI is by and large similar. Of course, the basic differences of the operating system would be there here and there. But otherwise, uh, things remain same. So I'll be coming back with more videos, uh, guys. Uh, so please stay tuned and have a good one. Thank you.